YouTube, YouTube. Hey, before we get this uh, video going, you can email me with any questions. I'll shoot you my phone number and we can chat. My email address is carlcoronado86 at gmail.com. That is C A R L C O R O N A D O 86 at gmail.com. Email me, I'll send you my phone number, and we can talk if you have any questions, and I can give you some more information. I'll help you if I can. Now let's get this video started in three, two, one, and let's do it. Welcome back YouTube, it is Trucker Charlie. Anyways, I'm going to show you some basic stuff. I mean, before I came to Martin, I never used Omnitrax. I was on PeopleNet for 14 years at my previous company. I came to Omnitrax here at Martin, went through orientation. It's pretty quick. Um, you think you know it? No, no, no. I thought I knew what I was doing. But when I got in my truck with my first load, I was lost on that dumb computer. It's totally different from people that, anyways, I'm gonna show you some basics. So we're gonna reverse this, right? So I know there's glare, oh, kind of sucks, but it might be okay. That's what your screen looks like. Let's say you get your first dispatch. You're gonna log in with that little guy right there. Right now it says log in, I already am. Well, you would click on that. And um, I'm already logged in, so that's what it says. But you, yours would be it would say, I think, ID and password. So, your ID is your driver number and your password is the same. And it takes a long time, up to 10 minutes, just to turn on, to boot up, whatever you wanna call it. I had a friend call me and say, hey man, I think my computer's broken, it won't start. I go, take a nap, wake up, it'll be on. You know, it really takes a long time sometimes. But anyways, let's say uh, dispatch says, hey, I got you on a pre-plan or load pre-plan. We'll call it a pre-plan because that's what I have. And so I'll go to workflow. See, on PeopleNet, we didn't have it like this. So we'll go to workflow. And it'll pop up like this under pre-plan right there. Because trip plan uh, it's, they have not activated it yet which means if it's not activated it will not work on your navigation it will uh, if they never activate it you'll go to your pickup or delivery and it will not let you punch in any arrive time or anything like that if it's activated you will be able to pull up, it'll automatically say you have arrived, GPS arrived, and you click confirm, it tells you the time right there. So I'll show you on my pre-plan, it shows me my job I have to do today. It's just a local delivery. And then I have to go to details. This will show me my trip number, we use that all the time, that's our trip number, we write that down. My trailer is here at the yard, we call them a spot. So it has a trailer number. If you're doing a live load or even some spots at the shipper, you will not have a trailer number because sometimes they don't know the trailer number. And if you're gonna do a live load, they don't have your empty number. So I have a spot here, the paperwork's here. So they ha already have the trailer number. So I already know my trailer number. 
the BOL number is not always correct. Maybe a Martin driver can correct me if I'm wrong, but those BL num BOL numbers on here, I can never find half of them on my paperwork. So I usually use the PO number. But this one is actually on my paperwork that I have right now, which was odd, but I'll show it to you. It's right there on the top. Amazing. There's my trip number. We Most drivers always write in our trip number on the paperwork. I highlighted my destination. There's a trailer number, equipment ID. The seal number I highlighted. I did all the highlighting. Temperature is supposed to be at minus 10, so I'll check that when I pick it up. There's my gross weight. Most of our shipments are heavy, our piece count. And that's what I needed to know on there. Paperwork says 43,000. Omnitrack says 43,000 right there. Let's see what else we got out here. Trip miles, it says zero because it's right here in town. They're probably going to just give me a flat rate. Um, quantity, I'm thinking that's pallets. I'm, oh no, this is not on pallets. Then we go down, we always have more information, which will usually be like your PO numbers to pick up and stuff. This one doesn't have it. But it says overnight parking, yes. Restrooms, yes. Okay. Now, this is just information. Now, when you get to a job, we have to go into tasks to enter our information, which I'll show you. So we click on tasks. See, it's on a pre-plan. It's not on a uh, trip plan. So I can't click on arrived if it was on a if the trip was activated, it would have arrived, arrived GPS, and I click on right here, it would say, what does it say? Uh, I forget, but there's a little button right here. You click on, and it'll tell you what time you got there. You click OK, and you write down that time. Because when you do your departure and all that other stuff, you have to write down the time you arrived. If it's a minute too early, it won't work. It has to be the time that you arrived at this computer says, or any time after, like it could be two minutes. Like say you, it says you arrived at 12 noon. You could write in 12.02, 12.09, 12 12.10, it'll take it. But you cannot write 11.59, it'll say it's wrong. Okay, we're only gonna do the bold letters. This is exactly what it's gonna say when you pick up a spot trailer. If you're doing a live load, there's gonna be more categories. But all they wanna know is what time I arrived. I can't click it, it's not activated yet. Pick up trailer, I would click on that, okay. It's gonna ask me for my seal number, the trailer number, and the next page will say, was it sealed and you just click on yes and then after that we're going to put departed and okay and we go on our merry way but that's it this is an easy one because it's only a spot trailer when you go to a live load it's going to ask you more questions but basically you're going to only answer the ones that are in bold lettering like it'll ask you um you're gonna to go to a page, it's gonna ask you what time you arrived, what time you docked, what time you departed, um, the BOL number. It's gonna ask you everything, the weight, how many pieces, how many pallets. But when I get to a, a load like that, I'll do another video. This is for a spot pickup. It's very easy. So that's that. Sorry for the shaky hand, but it is what it is. So I'm logged in. 
we can go to there's our navigation button see my trip is not activated so if I go to the home I look at dispatch if it was activated it would show where I'm going the company I'm going to and I click on it but this is my previous load that's where I delivered this morning Universal Network it'll give me directions to get there so I have to text them and ask them my dispatcher can you please activate my load and she will and then it'll show up on there the company's name I'll click on it and it'll give me directions right to there so that's how the navigation works and it's very slow like right now it's asking for route please wait who knows how long I have to wait a minute three minutes I don't know um, workflow driver login this is your log right here off-duty everybody knows how to work this we can edit logs as long as they're not um, what you gonna call it um, as long as they're not certified you cannot uh, edit drive time you could edit sleeper bird on duty stuff like that but not drive time um, I don't know what you did in the last eight days I didn't do much I had those days off I still make good money and look at I'm not even don't even have that many hours on this paycheck that many hours let's say the pay period ended let me get a closer look not too many hours huh that's eight days the same that was a pay period I would make 1450 we're working 13 plus a that's 20 1 plus 4 25 31, 32, 33, 30, well, about 34 hours, I guess, 35 hours, almost a 40 hour week. But look at the miles I ran, not too many. That would still pay me $1,450 minimum guaranteed pay, which I think is good pay. Other people may not, I mean, you don't have to agree. Just what you're used to but uh, yeah that's just a little quick run through on a spot load pickup see the little box this is Martin transport where I'm at the delivery end will have when you get to the company it'll be a red box too of the company where you're gonna where you're headed to it'll be outlined in red so navigation is good it's just slow so there's a little teaching on picking up a spot trailer on Omnitracks